we've seen in the last video I've made the process of a basic bunk bed design using frame features and the default frame profile existed in on shape. In this video, we will create a custom frame profile and custom library. So, let's dive into it. First of all, let's have a look at the frame profile in Onshape. When we explore the existed frame profile in the frame profiles tab, we see three main things which are library, type, and profile. By default, there are five types of frame profile in Onshape, which is quite enough if you work on steel and aluminum structure. However, for instance, we need to add casket maybe somewhere around here. Then we have to create a custom frame profile because there is no such a profile in the default library. One thing also, we can add this variable size to our custom profile. So, here are the main step of creating a custom frame library and custom frame profile. First, let's create a new folder. Go here on the top left and choose folder and give it a name let's say custom profile by cat tnts then create after that double click on the new folder in this example let's create two on shape documents and we will see how these documents look like new document custom profile one you can put the type name in here then create now let's create our new profile in part studio as a sketch rename the part studio to be the profile name and let me do the sketch quickly After finishing the profile sketch, we can add a variable size to our profile by using configuration. Go to configuration panel, configure part studio, configure features and choose the variable to be configured in the sketch. In this example, we will put free size option. Rename configuration like size.
let's create another custom profile in the same document. In this new profile, I will add a tag on it so that I can choose an additional alignment point. If you need any further explanation on that, please have a look at the video here. Next, and one of the most important step is create a version of the profile. Now let's create another Onshape document and create two part profile inside it. And do not forget to create the version. After that, let's go back to the home page where we created the folder. Right click on the folder, set library, my frame profiles. Wait until library update is finished, then our folder will change like this. Every time we make a change on the profile, then create a new version of it. Right click on the folder frame profile, library and update my library. In the library update, Onshape recognize the new design version. Now let's have a look at the custom profile we've just created. Go to the frame, select sketch profile, frame profiles. In the library, our folder is here. By default, we see the first sketch profile we've designed. On the type, we see the two documents and the profile will be the part design in each document. Also, we can see the size option just below. You can try it and you can even go any further by exploring any other option you can add to your custom profile by using mainly tag and configuration table. Okay, we've seen that creating a custom profile in Onshape is straightforward. It doesn't take too much time and we can even create something quite similar to the existing frame profile. Besides, it will help you and your team to be more organized in your design. I hope this tips helps you. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.